the last video, we covered how New Relic Synthetics can help you proactively monitor your applications for errors or downtime after only minutes of investment. But even an error-free application can lose you customers if it doesn't consider performance as an important metric. A few seconds can easily mean the difference between a sale for you or a lost customer forever. In this video, we'll cover how New Relic Synthetics grants you the same proactive visibility for the performance of your application and allows for easily understanding exactly where time is being spent while your customers are left staring at loading icons. Let's imagine you've just released a new web page to promote your upcoming international conference in London, and you want to ensure the performance of this page is adequate. Most of the time, you'll start by eyeballing performance by hitting it from your local browser and ensuring things seem snappy enough. But remember, this is an international conference, so it will be accessed by users around the world. New Relic Synthetics easily allows you to emulate user traffic from around the globe to ensure that everyone has an equally pleasant experience when interacting with your web page. After the monitor is set up, you can quickly see response times broken down by what region they originated from. In this case, it looks like there is a fairly drastic difference in performance based on geographic location. New Relic Synthetics surfaces the slowest individual traces directly from the overview page, allowing you to sample what is going on behind the scenes. Clicking into one of these traces, you're able to view a full waterfall chart showing exact timings of asset loads, along with associated headers. It looks like a significant portion of time was spent loading images, particularly this hero JPEG image. Clicking in further, we can see that it doesn't appear to be compressed in the response, and a quick search shows that the server IP is actually US-based. Looks like this is a great opportunity for geo-distribution, caching, and compression. A pretty standard error, but one that may have gone completely unnoticed without the convenience of New Relic Synthetics.